A couple names I have here, obviously, with KC leaving, that's going to adjust the wide receiver room and the wide receiver recruiting in a little bit. A few names is Jeremiah Smith, and he mentioned that he is now backed off, right? Because KC was somebody who was... I, I, I want to see what you have on this, because KC, I guess, was texting him, very communi- being, like, communicating with him constantly. He said in an interview, I think it was with Corey Bender, I believe that was where I read, read the article, where since then... It's almost been radio silence. Now, they've communicated a little bit, but it hasn't been as much when KC was was around. Two things that concerns me a little bit of like, well, why wouldn't we pick up where the where the ball was, you know, left off? Well, is there that much disconnect going on, or was KC just that interested, or is it just kind of just a small transition period? Have you heard much about that? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a transition period uh, when you have to go get a new wide receivers coach. Obviously, Billy Napier is a wide receivers coach by trade, so he can kind of step in, figure sure. out what he wants to do, talk to these kids. Um, and, I'm, and, and and he is doing that a bit. Uh, you also have assistant, uh, the assistant wide receivers coach and GA David Doker, who's also staying in communication with these guys. Um, he's actually the one that's been working with the wide receivers during practice thus far in the spring until they hire that coach. Um now, Jeremiah Smith is one of those guys where, hey, listen, he if he had a really good relationship with KC, KC's gone. I don't think there was ever a chance that he was coming to Florida regardless. Um, he pretty much said in 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 fewer words or in it, that it would take Brian Hartline getting fired from Ohio State for him to flip his commitment. Um, Interesting. So, I mean, Brian Even with Hartline with the decommitment proven, of Dylan Raiola still locked. Yeah, still locked in. Uh, Brian Hartline has proven time and time again that he is the best recruiter in college football, bar none. Um, obviously, yep. he did that last year, signing three five-star wide receivers, uh, depending on what uh, recruiting service you look at. And Jeremiah Smith is just the next in a long line of successful receivers that I think are going to be an, – he's an absolute. He's going to be an absolute baller at Ohio State. Um, but then you've got a couple other receivers that I actually got the chance to speak with uh, this weekend, Chance Robinson. Uh, he list. goes to St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, I spoke to him this weekend, and he said, listen, uh, I understand that Coach Casey is gone. Doesn't change how I feel about Florida at all. Um, he said he's still in, in constant communication with uh, with uh, one of the off-field guys, uh, Benedict Hippolyte, uh, who's a South Florida guy himself. He stays in constant communication with Chance, and so does Coach David Doker. Um, so you'll, you'll have those at different ends of the spectrum where – one kid will really say, hey, listen, this guy's gone, completely changes my recruitment. And then you'll have others like Chance who's saying, hey, listen, I, I really liked KC, but him leaving does not affect how I feel about the University of Florida. I love hearing that. Yeah, it, I, had, I had him on the list too. Go ahead, David. I was going to say, yeah, and you also have kids that, you know, it, it doesn't matter whether the position coach leaves or not. They're, they have a bigger relationship with the head coach, and they just want to see what type of assistance coming in to further gauge an idea of whether they want to still pursue maybe a visit or something like that. But most of the time, they usually still will visit after they find out who the coach is and then try to, uh, you know, kind of learn a little bit about them and also see the head coach as well. So I, I I don't know how many kids you talk to, Connor. I'm pretty sure you talk to a lot more than I do because a lot of them still tag me in their posts and stuff. But I talk to a lot of them, and, and they, they usually seem to have a relationship more with the head coach rather than most of the assistants on the team. Am I not correct? Yeah, yeah. That's it was especially with this staff. Um, Billy Napier is super involved with all the recruiting aspects. Um, obviously, your head coach can't uh, be the guy every time for every recruit. Um, but you identify somebody that you really want, you really like, the head coach is going to be super involved, and in, in specifically Billy Napier in this situation. Um, so somebody like Ch- a Chance Robinson, if he's really high on Florida's board, he'll bridge that gap while also using the army that he brought in of, of guys like Benedict Capolite, David Doker. Um, I would have said Jamar Chaney had he not walked off – or not walked off, but left for a, uh on-field coaching job. Uh, here as of, I think it was yesterday. Um, but yeah. yeah, you've got that that uh, army of people that are there to bridge the gap for situations like this. And and I don't think that gap is going to go on much longer. I think Florida's probably going to hire or announce the hiring of a wide receivers coach here. Uh, I would say probably by the end of this week, most likely. Um, and you'll get that guy on campus. He'll kind of alter the board just a little bit to his preferences, but I don't think it'll change that much. 